Hello Pisces, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you. What are their intentions? Anything else that you need to know will be in this reading. Uh, and let's jump into the reading, Pisces. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance for Pisces. For Pisces in love spirit, what does Pisces need to know about the person they are dealing with? What does Pisces need to know about this person? For Pisces, what are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces spirit? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. What's this? I hope that you can forgive me one day. So this person has has definitely something that they feel they need to be forgiven for. Maybe they've learned from a huge mistake. Okay. By the way, all of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. I'm curious. What else? What else do we need to know for Pisces? What else do we need to know for Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces spirit? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? I still check up on you. So I, I see it. they really don't have um, access to you is what I'm getting for whatever reason. Um, I'm going to put it in here. Yep. Okay. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Towards Pisces. Second chances. You're being given a second chance. And then breathe in. So I feel like this person wants a second chance, but I wonder how that's going to happen if they're not talking. With breathe in, this, is, um, this was inspired by the Four of Swords. So there's no action, no communication, just a lot of reflection, healing, meditating, you know. Bottom of the deck, I have patiently waiting. Maybe this person is just waiting for some sort of a sign from you or some sort of interest from you. Okay, one more. One more for Pisces Spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling? What are they thinking or feeling, Spirit? What are they thinking? I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I'm hurting. Yeah. So this person probably um, has kept this to themselves or what they feel, what they think. Um, probably been, you know, putting a smile on, acting out on social media. Or, you know, everything looks great online. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. You are the only person for me. Hmm. Well, I don't know what they are uh, waiting for what, or what you would need to wait for. Why is this going on with this deck? Okay. All right. Can I get some insight, please? For Pisces. Can I get some insight, please, Spirit? For Pisces. What does Pisces need to know about this connection? What does Pisces need to know about this person's energies? thoughts, feelings towards Pisces. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person's thoughts, energies towards Pisces at this time? So their current energy is 10 of coin reverse the devil. Oh, Capricorn energy. Well, they're not doing well. <laughs> they're not doing well. This person, I literally got the message. Their world is upside down. Their world is upside down and it was because it was their own fault. And I think this is why they're all like, oh, I learned a lesson or um, I hope you can forgive me. You know, they know their true intentions, Knight of Cups and next actions, Queen of Coin. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this is an apology. 
um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the Queen of Coin. I think it's a serious apology too. I don't think that this person is BSing you. I am going to clarify, but from what I get from these two energies, I feel that this person is serious about what they feel. What do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Two of Cups and Death. Scorpio energy. Yeah. I feel like you've changed this person. Whatever has happened between you, there's been a change in your person. And the change, I feel sadly, came about because something ended for your person. Bottom of the deck, three of wands, reverse. This is like a card about waiting too long or feeling impatient, not being able to wait. But this card too, for me as a reader, the three of wands reverse, um, is that somebody took like one step forward and three steps back. And so they're delayed. There's extra delays with the three of wands reverse. So we'll see what comes out with the rest of the tarot here. I feel like this person wants a second chance, but I, I don't think it's as easy as telling you that. Let's get some clarity here. For Pisces. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person that Pisces is dealing with? What do we need to know? about this person tell me about the ten of coin reverse with the devil why is the ten of coin reverse with the devil nine of wands why is the ten of um coins reverse with the devil spirit why is the ten of coins reverse with the devil yeah nine of wands ten of wands yeah this person's not doing well this person is not doing well. I think they chose, they made a huge mistake. And emotionally, I feel like they have no one, you know, it's one of those situations where you have no one to blame for your, but yourself. Tell me about this devil. Tell me about the devil. Why is the devil here? Queen of Swords. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here, spirit? Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Pentacles, I feel, is significant. She showed up twice. I think when this person thinks about you, Pisces, you are a Queen of Pentacles, which is like the ideal partner, is someone that has a lot to offer. The Queen of Pentacles is also very um, self-reliant. Um, they don't need anybody else's help or assistance. Um, very independent energy. Nine of Pentacles also came out. So that's why I'm thinking about that as well. Now the Queen of Swords is here with the Devil. <clears throat> and then I see the Nine of Pentacles. So instantly I thought cutting something out to be free. You know, um, cutting out what is in the way addressing something head on the queen of swords is very tough and there is no no bs you know she doesn't she reads between the lines she judges everything with a very critical analytical eye whatever this devil is i feel this is your person um like the opposite of the queen of swords i feel like this is somebody that either they got tangled up in something they shouldn't have um, they made a choice based off of temptation or desire, and it was a bad choice. Um, and I think this person would need to cut out this whole aspect of their life or this bad habit or this attachment, because I feel like, I, and, and they know it. I feel like this is a big hurdle. This is, this is like a big block. I can sense it. This this devil with the Ten of Pentacles rivers. I mean, look, I have the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands here. So this is something that's literally weighing someone down, preventing them from being free. I don't know what that could be because it's going to be different for all of you. But I feel like the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles is a message of being free of this. Let's get some more insight. Can I get one more for the Queen of Swords? Can I get one more, please, for the Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
And I almost feel like maybe you were the ones that freed yourself from this attachment. Yeah, there's the tower. So you could have freed yourself from this person, this attachment, or this person would need to do this in their own life. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you found something out. Maybe something came to light. Maybe there was a tower moment in this connection. Or this is something that still needs to happen. Tell me about the Knight of Cups with the Queen of Coin. Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Queen of Coin? Why is the Knight of Cups here with the Queen of Coin? Two of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is about choosing a path forward. This is about waiting for the right time to make a decision. Can I get one more please for the Knight of Cups? Queen of Coin. I feel like this person, yeah, Three of Wands, I was going to say they haven't made this decision. They've, they're waiting to make this decision. Three of Wands and Three of Wands reversed. I feel like this person's procrastinating. It's like they're waiting for the perfect time. And I don't think the perfect time will ever really arrive. Um, because they don't want to screw this up. I have the Ten of Cups here. Eight of Wands, Justice. Yeah, this is about making things right. This is about maybe talking to you, moving things forward. Um, they don't want to screw this up. And so it's like they're waiting for something that may never come. Maybe they're waiting for a sign from you, waiting to hear from you. And maybe you're not even interested in that at all. So they'll be waiting forever, you know. Maybe there's delays here in some way for your person to apologize, to tell you how they feel. So I feel like this is an apology. I feel like for a lot of you, you haven't received an apology from this person. Tell me if that's the case in the comments, but that's what I'm feeling here. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Ten of cups. Tell me about death. King of pentacles. This is a shame. Tell me about death. Can I get one more, please, for death? Ace of Swords. So this is what I'm seeing, um, Pisces. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Um, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, and others of you are dealing possibly with a Scorpio. The sign doesn't matter. It's more the energy, but I'm picking up Capricorn very strongly here. Anyways, so with the Death card and these other energies, the Ten of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I feel like this person was changed. There was some sort of re rebirth that this person has gone through or is going through. They learned a tough lesson. Um, and now it's almost like after you got screwed over, because I feel like a lot of you did. <laughs> I feel like after this connection exploded is when they finally realized something and changed and matured and became a king of pentacles energy so that they can match you this queen of pentacles here right but i wonder if it's too late maybe they're realizing this too late i feel like they're going to talk to you and tell you i've changed you know tell you that you know i want to make things right um let's look at these king of cups after justice Four of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is someone literally coming to apologize, to make things right, to tell you that they want to heal this, to tell you they love you, etc. That they're sorry for what happened. Yeah, the star at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. So I feel like this person, they're going to eventually, I feel come forward. I think it's going to take them a while with the Two of Wands, Three of Wands. I think they're secretly hoping that you're the one that reaches out, which, you know, the audacity, right? Um, I don't think that that's probably going to happen, Pisces. <laughs> but I feel like this person is secretly hoping that you will make it easy for them. But I don't think you should. And I don't think that they deserve that. I think if they're so changed, if they're so transformed, if they've grown so much, then show it, right? Be a king of pentacles and approach me. Say what you need to say, right? So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it resonated for you. Um, if it did, please hit the like button, subscribe. Um, I'd love to have you. 
Thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you in another video very soon. Take care.